Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're going to play around about four hours. Then I'm going to break and possibly have another four hours. So a big marathon of gameplay today for us. Um, since it's Saturday and I'm not working, let's do this. So where are we? We're in the swamps. Oh yeah, yeah, we're back at La Gra and we're going to see Dutch. Okay, oh we're at La Kay, sorry, and we're going to see Dutch. Alright, so where is this man? Okay, he's over here. Morning. Hey, I'm Javi. Here. How are you doing? I'm okay. Just keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Right, so we left yesterday when we were here. We did the Sandini bank job. We ended up in the island of Guarma. And... We did a few missions there, which brought us back to the Jop Arthur off in Van Horn. So we rode all the way back to Shady Bell from Van Horn um, to find the gang. We found a letter from Sadie, which brought us here. Everybody else eventually ended up back with us, and we immediately got attacked One, two, by the Pinkertons, three, four, Agent Smith. So now Bishop. we're going to be moving on. You okay there? Dutch playing chess in his head, Working the old Dutch defence move. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey. I'll try to keep my chair further away from the PlayStation today, so you don't hear it as much. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the pressing millionaire Leviticus Cornwall, they. They want us. They want Open the window a little bit as well, try and keep it a bit cooler. Maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know, it's just... Well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my, my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like sorry you if you heard that spoon rattling to. him. And I'm sorry, I've got a spoon and a cup of hot chocolate. That if we there is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that away. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Okay, so we have to Move on, guys. Let's go and see Charles. Always seems to be Charles and Arthur that has to go and check out the new gang locations, doesn't it? Charles? Charles. Be right with me. Always. Hello, Charles. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. Spooky brew country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. <laughs> so Charles has said, okay, we'll take these guns with us instead. <laughs> what are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. 
I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Hmm. You'll see. I know the way. Follow me. There's my girl back after Guarma. I thought we'd have lost her, but she's here. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. There's a lot of glitchiness going on. See the way Arthur's riding. Right there's. There. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Uh, no, we'll ride the horses, Charles. I say we just ride it. Just got my horse back. I don't want to lose it again. Okay, sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Ah, uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Hey, huh. old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Well, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Oh, come on. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. I'm just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. Alright, so we've got a long ride up towards Beaver Hollow. Oh, it's legendary beaver territory. Oh, I think we'll still get the legendary beaver. Yeah, and since I rushed through gameplay yesterday to get Guarma out the way and whatnot, today um, we'll probably do a bit more exploring um, and try and find some more side missions. But we will do a... We'll finish this mission. We'll probably do a gang mission to get us started at Beaver Hollow. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble. Heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Right, so it's given us 
the bow and a repeater. We have a mouser. Right, okay. Take a machete. I'm going to loot these guys as well, just see what they've got on them. There's some chewing tobacco. As I said, chewing tobacco all day, every day. Doesn't count as a health item when you're doing the gold medals, so you can take the chewing tobacco to keep your dead eye active. And I'm filled up with them at the minute. I've got 30 there, so we're good for chewing tobacco for a while. Right, here's the caves. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's the stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite? Uh, I think we'll flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over. I might actually have dynamite arrows. Let me just check. No, I don't. I need to make some. Okay. Right, okay, and I do have plenty of dynamite, so we're all good. Right. Oh, nerve-wracking, guys. This this um, mission is a... Right, stay okay. there, Charles. Give There's somebody in the cave. Throw it, into the cave. throw it into the cave, okay. Hopefully we'll take this guy out. Right. Oh, come on, Charles. Don't go running too far ahead. Charles, Let's don't go running too far ahead. Jeez, oh man. They're coming after, they're coming. Guns are loaded up. Right, this way, Charles. Oh, shit. Ah, who's up, Arthur? Oh. The thing is, your visibility in here is really poor, so... Oh, that's Charles. Don't want to shoot him. I want this guy, though. Hang on. Just see the red dot where his head is. I'm hit. Oh, there's somebody else running towards us. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh, Charles got him. Right, okay. No. 
One down round here. There he is. How many bullets do these maddies take? Right, let's... Is it this cage she's in? Hang on. Yeah, it is. Just calm down. Don't touch me. We ain't gonna hurt you. Stay away from me. Her girl just she just looks terrified, doesn't she? Let's go. How long has she been there for? How long I can't remember did Charles stay the stagecoach disappeared a week ago? Where are you from? Mantisburg. What do we do with her? Take her then. I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss. You okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 Um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals. I know. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. Oh, something just did a I an odd thing on the controller there. Ah. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. Don't know if it'll let me be home soon, because Meredith. she's on the horse. And this will all be oh, it over. does. Yes, I'll take it. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. If you've not caught up with the rest of the episodes yet, guys, yesterday we did the Sandini bank robbery and ended up stranded on a tropical island, the second island east of Cuba. And it was named Guarma, and we had a few adventures there before we finally managed to help a ship captain who brought us back to the mainland. Um, we found a a letter left at Shady Bell by Sadie and we found the rest of the gang at La Quay. So now we're going to move on because as soon as we found the rest of the gang the damn Pinkerton showed up again. So we're having to find another new camp right away. And we're going to go to these caves that we've just cleared out. Because apparently the Murphy brood that we've just taken out. Apparently, the law are even scared to come up that way. So, just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk. I have a there. feeling that was the crew that. Oh gosh, what was that state marshal's name? That Jim Boy Calloway took out Slim Grant. That was it, State Marshal Slim Grant. Um. He'd been held captive by a group up this way, and Arthur you rescued him to take to Jim Boy Calloway. And I think yes. it was the Murphy oh. brood that had him. Oh. Thank God. Right, we've got poor Meredith back home. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. 
It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brute got it. Oh, my God. How did you manage oh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, no, 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 we're not taking any money. No, oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. Mrs. Downs? Mrs. Downs? Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. Arthur's starting to realise how how badly people deteriorate when their victims are loan sharks. And Arthur basically beat her husband to death trying to get money out of him when he already had tuberculosis. So it's it's just a sad state of affairs all round as far as Arthur's concerned. The more he sees Mrs. Down, I think the more he hates Leopold Strauss. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. Took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. Did you miss me? I found her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly, God Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. Or any of your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them! I'm sorry? Yeah, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, She's shoot me! Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on oh, me! You betrayed so now, me! What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> He's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You take her. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. Yeah. So now we know what happens to people who tell on the gang, who inform the Pinkertons of what's going on. Traitors will be killed, and that's the bottom line. Which makes it a lot more difficult at the end of the day for Arthur to get people out of the gang, doesn't it? Because if the gang's that loyal to Dutch, and then they're going to shoot traitors right in front of them, Nobody's going to want to run. Where are they going to run to where Charles couldn't track them down for a Dutch? We know how excellent a tracker Charles is. So, I mean, if, if Uncle managed to find Molly in San Denis, I mean, it must say something about Uncle as a, a, tra a, a tracker as well. I mean, he managed to track down Molly. Says he found her in a bar in San Denis. Now, bearing in mind, let's see if we can get through this. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. God damn you, murderer! Murderer! That's a very strange reaction from Karen as well, because. Ah, I know you did, Susan. We know you had to do it, Susan. Don't you fret. 
Dutch would have done it himself as well. He did say, you know what happens to traitors, Arthur. God, yeah, but a strange reaction from Karen, because way back at Chapter 2, when Uncle and Arthur took the girls into town, Tilly says, do you think we should ask Molly to come with us? And Karen's like, no, no, she's high society now. She doesn't want anything to do with the likes of us kind of thing, you know, so... For her to be defending Molly and saying she was in love, it's a turnaround. And again, we know that Karen had feelings for Sean when they were making out in the the tent at Sean's rescue party. Um, Karen was saying, see me, see me. She was wanting Sean to see her as a woman, not just as a, for want of a better word, hold between two legs. Um, she loved Sean. And when Sean wouldn't see her as a human being, just a sex object, she hit the bottle. Now that Sean's gone, she's hit the bottle even more. She's realising Molly was in love. And that's why she took it out in Grimshaw for shooting Molly there. God, this gang is, is so toxic and Arthur knows it. He just wants them all out. Dutch is going to give a speech. We're here. And we are safe now. And that is the main thing. Listen to me. You have got to keep faith. You've got to. Now I know. I know. I miss Jose. I surely do. I miss every man and every woman who fell. I do. And I would die in their place gladly if I could. This world is un- Kind. But it won't break me. Not while I have you by my side. We. We get some money and we can still. They won't catch me. They won't. Catch me, and I promise <laughs> whosoever stands by my side, they won't catch you neither. Let's see if he just said that to Molly instead of uh, waiting till after she was dead to give that speech. Molly would have probably still been there, still alive. Oh, it's heartbreaking. It really is. Doesn't get any easier the more you play through it. The frustrations are still there. The and this get let's antagonise them. I don't want to defuse anything. I want to antagonise them more. And let me do it. Is that it? Is that all we're getting to do? Well, let's go and get Arthur a shave and a sleep. And then we're going to go adventuring, I think. We had enough, but it was all gang play yesterday. We did. How you doing, Paul? It didn't work. It'll be all right. Fine, take the moustache down a little bit more, give him a good. A good cut. Right. Where is everybody? Morning. Morning. How are you, Cool? Trying to make the best of it. Yeah, we ain't done yet. Whatever, Morgan. Still can't speak to or antagonize him any further. Yeah, we will come up anyway without having to say anything. The way he just sits and stares at you. 
<laughs> all right I um let's see what we've got on the map okay so the only mission we've got is Sadie down in Saint Denis so I think what I'm going to do is since we're up at Beaver Hollow is we'll just go further north and see if we can see Marco Dragic again so let's do that. Arthur. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. What did they smash? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. Me too. <sighs> the gang's not faring well at all. Let's see Karen after her outburst with Grimshaw. Morning. Poor Karen. How you doing with all this? Trying to drink my way through it. We'll be alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Karen's not doing well at all. I don't blame her. Long time, girl. All right, okay, let's let's go and see if we can find Marco Dragic. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. I'm in camp. Right, hang on. Yep. Forgot. I forgot. It's easy to do. There's Abigail. She read it on us. What could he do but look at this place? No. Just hang in there for now. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Uh-huh. My horse spit is it? Uh, do you know what? I better actually go back and get it because I don't want the the spare horse following me out of camp either. Just remember not to ride through camp this time, go around it. Okay, girl. There we go, managed to get past without getting into trouble there. So we're going to go and head up and see if Marco Dragic's lab's accessible. The last we saw of Mr. Dragic, we just got his robot, the mad preacher. He'll be there when we get back. We just had, um, oh, somebody's trapped. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> Hit the tree as I was stopping and fell off. Disarm trap. Alright, what are we doing? Tap the mix fast. Oh, oh, you did it! Oh, oh, I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or something. Oh, oh, mister, you can. I thought I was gonna be oh go! Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna be a goal. Oh, you, you can take whatever you want from my bag for saving me. Ah, uh, you can oh. keep the stuff in your bag, Mister. Here, here. have a good Scottish a cure for all ills. Please. Have a swig of whiskey. Oh, oh, yeah. And he's. I'm not going to bring his horse back to him. The last time I tried that, I thought I'll lead his horse over to him to make it easier for him to get on. I ended up with a wanted level in horse theft. So I'm just going to leave him to it. Disappear like an angel in the mist. I've gave him some whiskies. Managed to put a tourniquet on his legs, so he'll be good.
if you're just joining the stream at the end of last stream well yesterday's stream we ended up robbing the Sandini Bank ended up a tropical island and a shipwreck we had quite the adventure before we managed to make it back to the mainland to find the gang so now we are we've just left Beaver Hollow which is our new camp uh, we're just going to go for a little adventure. We're heading up to see Marco Dragic. Um, his robot sprung to life the last time we met him, but fell flat on its face when it couldn't operate steps. So There isn't a marker on the map for Marco either, so we're just chancing our arm going up here. There's his place right in front of us. a gun inside or a gun symbol inside which means there's something to find where's your creation now yeah where's the robot gone and it's not a gun I don't want to drop my machete is there not anything else oh well mind you you don't lose it do you it's still there Right, okay, so we'll take that electric lantern, which we won't be able to see very well in the the daytime. But if you change direction with it, it sort of goes, you can't really see it in the daytime, but it goes from a normal light colour to red, which is like a tracking device, isn't it? So... I'll put it away for now, and the next time I'm over near Strawberry, we'll bring it out again. Obviously, this isn't my first playthrough, so I know what's going on. I like to talk as though it's the first time, just in case any of you are watching for the first time. So, let's, let's head over. Oh yeah, I still have to see the old hermit here. So we'll head his way. Um, Springfield and the environment, just in case we find anything interesting to hunt on the way. Cougar territory, so I'm going to get my Springfield out just in case. If you have a look around, I mean, basically all down this coast as far as Ansberg, you're liable to find cougars. So it's always good to have a look about. Get out of my sight now. Oh, mind you, it's pretty busy today. Plenty traffic. If there's a campfire in the woods there, there's usually a cougar at the camp, depending on the weather. Let's have a look and see if the camp's there. Oh, and let me just have a look up here as well, because if I remember correctly, there should be an old hermit living in a tree up here somewhere. Try to look for the biggest tree. Oh, there he is, there he is. Hey, you. Go away. What is it, mister? Hey, mister. I thought I told you to go away. You did. But you haven't. Why would I listen to you? You're <coughs> a hermit. I am not a hermit. I'm the king. The king! <laughs> Wonder what happens if we shoot him. Oh, no. 
probably a bit of bad honour maybe. We're trying to keep it high honour but this is just curiosity more than anything else. Let's see what we can get from him. And how the hell did he get up there? I don't know if we can get up there. If you're wondering where all, all my money's gone, guys, I know I had 11 grand yesterday. I left it with the Aberdeen pig farm. No, we can't jump up. Oh, well. How he got up there, I'll never know. Right, let's carry on. Just follow this around to see if the little campfire's near the river. No, if the camps, if the campfire's here, it's usually round about here. See where that burn mark is. There's usually a little camp here, and there's a cougar in the camp. So if you ever see the smoke, it's always wise to go and have a look if you're cougar hunting. All right, let's carry on. This is also a good area for moose. I've had the. I've already been and got the, the legendary moose from up this way. I think I've still to get the legendary fish. Yeah, I've still got a legendary fish to get up here as well, so let's see if we can get that to spawn. There we go, you found the legendary fish location. So, I find the best spot to stand for this one is just over here. In fact, we'll go to this side of the rock and we'll just cast out that way beyond the bubbles, I think. What lure have I got on? Special lake lure. Look, it'll do, it'll do. Right, so if you cast just okay. to the left of the rock at the waterfall and just slowly reel in. Give the rod a little flick. And if the legendary's here, it'll take the bait pretty quickly. I might have to cast to the right-hand side of the rock. We'll find out in a minute. You can always have a look with your eagle eye. Oh, we've got something. Keep it away from the rock so you don't break the line. I don't know if this is the legendary, but you never know. No, it's not putting up much of a fight. It's probably just a musky or just a normal musky. I'll know when I've reeled it in, it'll tell me, I'm sure. Good to meet you. Nah, it's just a normal musky. Female. You're a fine looking musky. Swim away, oh, throw it back. Oh. <laughs> I threw it in at the shallows. Right, let's go to the right hand side of the boulder then. And I think we'll go up here and we'll cast over that way, see if anything happens. Oh, there's something there, I can see the bubbles, come on. I think this might be the legendary. It's definitely struggling a lot more than the muskies do. Oh yes, yeah, this one's a fighter. Hopefully this is it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is a lot bigger than a musky. A lot, lot bigger. So to hook this one, stand to the, between the rock and the boulder. Eh, uh, the rock and the waterfall. Sorry. Oh yeah, look at the size of this thing. It's huge. One, one more pull. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Oh, it's a giant steelhead trout. It is huge. Oh, we are most definitely keeping that. Right. Let's uh, we can drop that off at the oh the post office in Van Horn or Ansberg oh as we go past. Yeah. Oh watch all the rocks. Yeah. We've not got a stranger mission here yet. That's fine, we'll have to do a couple of or a mission at least. Right, so we'll go and take this fish back and get it posted. Do you know what? Let's just follow the train tracks down. Just in case we meet any cougars en route. Before we go to the post office, let me just mark up the hermit's cabin again. Because I want to go there first. Arthur, of course, is not going to respect any boundaries. Go away. You're all bastards, bastards, bastards. I know. High honour shouldn't kill, but he has got a decent gun here. A rare shotgun. A rare... Well, looks like a double barrel side by side. I would have thought the rarer one would have been the barrels over and like top and bottom rather than side by side. And then have a look in this drawer. And you'll find part two of the torn treasure map. Right, so that torn map, let me just show you on the map here. Right, it's now called the Mended Map because we found the other piece. You can't use this map just now, it's more for much later in the game. If you look at the Low Honour playthrough, you'll see where I, I, I used that one. Um, so that is Manito Glade for part two. And then right on the other side of the map, where we found... Where is she? where we found the old lady she had the first piece of map they actually get a mention on the map or in a letter that you find with the treasure let me just have a look um, yeah right mended treasure map my life is threatened daily and the whole world seems pitied against me I've been hunted for many years and charged for numerous crimes of which I am innocent. Many brave fellows, not a coward or a liar among them, have died for riding with me. I fear betrayal and I'm constantly looking over my shoulder. 
I am hiding these personal effects for safekeeping until I am able to prove my innocence and will be living with my wife and the Tatum brothers, the last loyal friends I have left. Otis Miller. Now, I think the old lady on the west side of the map might have been his wife. And the hermit that we've just seen could have been one of the remaining Tatum brothers. Because when you find his treasure, it's nowhere near where any of the maps are found, put it that way. So, just leave our gun lying there, because it'll automatically go back on the horse anyway. But we now have a rare shotgun as well. Which might have slightly better stats than a normal. Uh, that's the rare shotgun, which can be pimped up by the looks of it. And there's your double barrel shotgun. So, yeah, the stats are slightly better and it looks like it can be pimped up. So we'll probably do that as well the next time we're near the gunsmith. But in the meantime, let's get this fish to a post office before it goes off. tripped over graves. Never noticed graves here before. Easy now. Might be a little cemetery for Ansberg. Yeah. Or it could be miners. Miners' bodies. Hey Dark Reaper. How are you doing? Fish posted first. Well, hello again. What's to send? A giant steelhead trout. Don't be eating it. Thank you. you can tell I've not. That's only the second legendary fish I've done in this playthrough. All right, let's go to the gunsmith and see if we can pimp up this rare shotgun. I need to pump up my Mauser as well. Like, let's see me the rear shotgun first. Where is the rear shotgun? Hang on. I hear there was a big shootout with the Mercury gang. No doubt. Oh, no doubt. Just give me a second to see if this, what's just happened with this. No, there's the rare rolling block. All oh, right, obviously we can't pimp up the rare ones then, because they are on the horse. But we're not getting to see them in in the customized list. But I do have the Mauser to pimp up, so let's do that. I don't bother with the grip. I just do the main components that benefit the gun. Don't paint them, just a waste of money. The only thing I don't do components wise is put the put the carving on it so I know it's been pimped up when I'm looking at them. And because it's Arthur High Honor, I always use the stag. Right, so that one's pimped up. They're all pimped up. Do you know what? I might as well get them all cleaned while I'm here. If I've got dual pistols, this one's not been pimped up. Oh yeah, this was the one I took off the, the guy. Okay, so I'll get this pimped up. But because it's the dual one, I won't put the 
the stag carving on it, I'll put the dough and then I know which one's which when I'm getting them cleaned or using them. So go to the carvings and there's the dough. So we'll put that one on that one because it's the jewel pistol. A double action revolver has been pimped up. You can tell by looking at the handle. School fields pimped up. And um, we've just pimped up the Mauser, so I don't need to check that. It's been pimped. And I've got dual Lancasters, so I've got the stag on one of those. And on the second one, I don't think we had the dough choice for that, so I put a wolf on it. So I knew which one it was when I'm sort of wielding them, I know which one's which. It's clean. Bolt action is clean. Rolling block needs a clean. I can tell just by looking at the handles that they have been pimped up because they've all got the carvings on them. It just makes it easier. Right, double barrel shotgun is clean. We've only got one of those. Or have we? Let me just check what that one is. Right, okay. Yeah, because the symbol's not changing, but I've got two double barrel shotguns now, so I'm going to pimp up this one as well. So we've always got a clean shotgun there. So we will have the stag on one of them, so we will put the wolf on the other. There we go. Let me just double check that in the list. Right, so we've got the wolf on one. If I just went back to the wolf on one. And there's the stag on the second one. So we've got the double wielding possibility for shotguns. Ooh, you could do the John Wayne and True Grit at the end where he says, fill your hands with lead, you sons of a... You know, the original True Grit, of course. Right, that one's clean. Semi-automatics, probably. Oh, no, it's clean, good. And the hunting knife, I didn't bother pimping up. Right, so let's buy some more ammo while we're here as well. Just fully stock up the ammo and everything. I say this not worried about the money because it's money we're going to lose at the end of the day anyway because I've stocked well let's say I've left the rest of the money with um, the Aberdeeners the Aberdeen pig farm of the Aberdonians as we should say alright uh, so we've posted the fish guns are cleaned, fully stocked ammo ready to go again Let's have a look on the beach here to see if there's any. I probably just went right past the gun I was wanting to see if there's any cougars on the beach. Now it's a black bear on the beach. The horse will probably fuss in a second, so let me just have a look though. Just in case there is a cougar as well. Yeah, there's the black bear. Let's get that studied. It's only a one star, so we'll let it live. A white tail buck. 
Sometimes you get a cougar just walking down to the water casually for a drink as well. If you take out the bear that's there and try and skin that, in fact, let me let me just show you, because if I'm trying to skin that, chances are I might get attacked by a cougar at the same time coming down the hill. It's just casually minding its own business, sitting watching the buck. Right, so, before you get off the horse, make sure you've got your spring field just in case. Yeah, because a couple of times I've been stood here about to skin a black bear and the cougar's just come bolting down, bolting down the ridge. So just keep an eye on your small little map there. Just for red dots. Because it takes, I think in game time, it takes about an hour to, to skin a deer, so it gives you plenty of time for other animals to crop up. I'm not going to take that pelt with me. It's just a poor one. Oh, I've read straight. Fine, fine. I can change it for a good one. Right, so we were lucky there. No cougars appeared. So let's just carry on down the road. In fact, remember where that there's the camp um, so this one here's the mansion let's have a look there let's see what that is hey mister Got that mansion on the left as well that I want to have a look at. We robbed that earlier on in the game. Um, found a couple of guys sleeping down there. Stole the money off them. They woke up and shot at us. That was quite weary. I thought they were dead to begin with, but turns out one of them, they were just drunk. Oh yeah, I know what house that is, yeah. Okay, does that mean I'm near? Hmm. Still got the legendary perch to find as well. I've got a load of legendary animals still to find because we've just played through this mainly just playing the game rather than doing the side missions and whatnot this time. Let's go get the... The legendary perch, the legendary beaver, because I can put the perch in my satchel so it'll keep for a while. We can skin the beaver and then we can head down to Saint Denis to find Sadie. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Anything we find in between there is a bonus. Right, so let's go get the legendary perch. Didn't touch you, mate. Yeah. I just want to see. I'm deliberately not putting his hat on him because I want to see if he's his hair goes the wet look. Too far away from. Him. I don't know if his hair looks wet or not. Can't tell. It's too dark. Right, I'm trying to remember where we where we stand to catch this one. I don't know. I'm just going to stand here and try it. Just first off.
still got the special lake lure on, so I'll just use that. There is a there is bubbles out that way, you never know, we might be able to catch it just randomly anywhere. There is bubbles moving towards the lure, but whether they're a legendary perch or not. I think if it was going to take the bait, it would have done it by... Oh, 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 it would have done it by now, it's funnily enough. I don't know if this is going to be a legendary perch or not. It may be, it may be. Oh, it is, it is, it is. Yeah, because it's been in there, it's kind of messed up, as you can see, but it is the legendary perch. Right. And because that's in my satchel, I know it'll keep for a while. So let's have a look where the legendary beaver is. It's down here. And we'll just follow the river down to where that is, I guess. Oh. Or swim across. Yeah. Don't drink any of the water, horsey. Yeah, I'm planning on doing a, f a four hour stream here guys so we're already an hour in then I'm going to break for an hour and get something to eat and then I'll be back on for about another four hours so you're more than welcome to come back and watch later on and if you're enjoying the stream please consider giving me a thumbs up or hitting the subscribe button it would be greatly appreciated right let's see if we can find this legendary beaver For oh, 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 there's a clue on the map right there. Um, no, I don't want the Springfield, I want the Lancaster for this. Either one will do. I've got dual Lancasters as well. I've got broken okay, sticks. Hi, Martha. Give my horse a shout before I do this, just in case there's any more beavers waiting to attack me. Right, there's the legendary. It's in the water right now. Um, I kind of want it to come out the water if it, if we can.
don't know how deep the river is, you see. If it comes out here... Come on, come out, come out. Right, let's get it. Skin it quickly before it flows away. It's already floating away down the river, so... It was just the pelt we wanted. Right, so next we are, ooh, there's a stranger here. Let's see the stranger since we're already there. I'll need, probably need to take that bear pill off the, the horse, but that's fine. There he is. You okay? Hell. You, you Hell. sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. You're not well, friend. Uh, Butch's crit. Butch's crit. Uh, where? Uh, Butch's crit. Is that where you're from? Butch's crit. You want me to take you back, or...? There ain't uh, me. Uh, well, come on, let me get you home. We're gonna have to put him on the horse and take off that poor bear pelt. Oh, oh, Bush's crit. Oh, it'll probably come up as a yellow marker anyway. Um, I don't know how deep the water is there. I don't want him falling off and drowning. Yeah, we're not going to drown him. We're okay. We're feeling the cold, Arthur. And the wet, and we're hungry. Oh, we're at Butcher's Crick anyway. Right, we'll get this guy home. Then we'll change our clothes, set up camp for a little while. Oh, Butcher's Crick. Oh, no. Obadiah. Oh, ah, the mule! <laughs> you found the mule! Oh, come, come, come here! Yeah, he was in some distress. Yeah, he uh. seems calmer now. I found him out. Well, the mule, sweet the mule, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, look, come on, get up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the villagers. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to get myself a bit more comfortable hey, moving around a little bit. Oh, sh break free. Okay. Please, it, please, sir. Ah, ah, you're not well, sir. Uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah oh, Hinton, that's me. Love and friendship. Friendship and love. 
We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. So we got that poor guy home. Let's go and make ourselves a camp out of this rain. Okay, we'll have a little sleep until noon, I think. Eight hours. We deserve it, Arthur. What's the cables on these things? They just get in the way, don't they? I'm going to have to get myself one of the, the earpiece ones rather than the headphones because apparently you can hear the, the PlayStation quite a lot. Um... Tear down the camp. At least the rain stopped now, guys. The rain stopped. Love Arthur's belt buckle, but I'd prefer one smaller. Okay, where are we going now? Um, I think we'll head to. Yeah, we'll head to Van Horn first and we'll get. The fish posted. In fact, hang on, are we near a trapper? Yeah, the trapper's there. We'll go to the trapper, get rid of the beaver pelt. Hey, funny you being here when things has happened. What? Just calm down. What's going on anyway? Sure. Fun's over. It's best of you just leave. I didn't want to kill him there. I was trying to rob him without losing too much honor. Oh shit, and there's another one. Whoa! Guy means business. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I did not mean to lose that honor there. That did not go how I planned it in my head. Two of them living in this tiny cabin. Which is really dark. Where is... That's the electric lantern. I don't want the electric lantern. Um, why, why can't I change to my other lantern? Oh well, we'll just have to use it. It's just for a quick look around to see what's here. Not a lot. Not a lot. There's a little drawer. Cigarettes. Nothing in it. Can we take this food? Yes. Moonshine, yes please. Alright, so we did lose a little bit of honour there, guys. Not much as you can see. But we do have to win that back somehow. Sorry, fellas. Why are you taking a gun out? Jeez, oh. We're trying to put things away, not take more out. Yeah. Arthur is fighting my will today. somebody here. 
Where are you, buddy? Where is he? He ain't fall for it. Oh, I think they'd set a trap, that's what it was. They'd set a trap other than the one I'm here. So I, need, I think there's something on the ground there. Yeah, I think he... Look, 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 look. Yeah, I think he wanted us to ride over that. Um, oh! I didn't even mean to step into it. Just out of curiosity, is there anything in here? No. Right, so if we'd have ridden into that with our horse, how were we meant to get out of that? Seriously. That's why they were shouting us to go that way. So, but we're lucky we didn't fall for that until I fell into it there. But yeah, could you imagine falling into that with your horse and then those guys shooting you? That would have been a hard one. That kind of reminds me of Hidalgo, only it had spikes sticking out the bottom, didn't it? Let me loot the guy, thank you. Yes, that was that was a a, oh, a lucky escape there. A lucky escape. In fact, I think this is near the old Viking tomb we found. In the last playthrough, have I been to it in this playthrough? I can't remember. Let me just have a little check of the map. Oh, we haven't been to it yet. Okay, so there's an old Viking. Oh, wait a minute. Let me just double check that. Get the right side of the river. Yeah, we've not been near the, the Viking tomb. Okay. So we've got that to look forward to. I just can't remember where the Viking tomb is at this point. I look for a clue. Let me check up near the road. I think we can see it from the roadway usually. Let me check on this side of the road. It's actually like an underground tomb with open bits at the top. So if you have a good look around, you will find it eventually. Oh, this is where they were just attacking us, just over to the right. the hell? Off right there. Let me check up on this hill on this side. I got a better view from up here. It's a bit 
misty, but if you have a look around... Oh, what was that? A coyote. I hadn't studied a coyote yet. Okay, that's done now. No, I'm not seeing the, the Viking tomb offhand. We'll stumble across it as we always do. Let's go, girl. But it is near these guys somewhere if you're having a look around this way. I don't think we have. Oh, wait a minute. I tell a lie. That's it there. That's the Viking tomb, and we have seen it, this one, so we'd have got everything out of there. In the Viking tomb, you find um, like a stone hatchet, a Viking helmet, and uh, an ancient Viking comb, hidden under some skulls that you have to shoot out the way to get to it. But the comb itself's worth 50. Look, there's that trap made itself up again. Watch this. Oh, 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 oh. The horse didn't fall through it. A trap that regenerates itself. Yeah. Spooky. Right, so we're heading to the trapper to get rid of this beaver pelt. I think I might have another legendary pelt on the horse. I'm not sure. And then we'll go and post that legendary perch. And then we'll definitely go see Sadie. As we've already done a stranger mission. We've been ambushed. We've got a couple of legendary fish. A legendary animal. Yeah. It's time to go and see Sadie after we've done these little bits. See you Buying again. Selling. selling as per usual. Okay, let's take a look at it. Legendary beaver. Yeah, it was the legendary beaver we had. And we've not got any other legendary pelts on us, so we're all good. Right, um Post office in Ansburg next. I think we'll fast travel there. We'll just set up a camp next to the trapper. Fast travel to Ansberg, post the legendary perch, and then Sadie's down in Saint Denis. Although I should have maybe just fast travelled to Saint Denis, I would have got the trapper there in the post office, wouldn't I? Not the trapper, the fence for the trinket. But we're not in a rush. We're not in a rush at all. If you're just joining the stream, I'm, I've been streaming for an hour and a half. I'm planning on doing four hours right now, then breaking for an hour, and then doing another four hours since I'm not working tonight. Right, let's go post the legendary perch. Huck, dang. And you. You got postage? It all set to go. It's only three. Uh, no chapter. Chapter 5 or 6 we're on, and I've only done three legendary fish. So we've got a long ride to Saint Denis. Let's see if this. Let's see if there's a cougar on the beach yet. Last time we were on the beach, we got a. Oh, what's that? Oh, wait. Elk. That was the black bear that was skinned. I'm saying that the horse is fussing, so there could be a cougar around somewhere. 
or it might be another bear. I guess we'll find out soon enough. We'll stick close to the water just in case. I think we're good. Yeah. Give the horse a bath before we go into the stables and Arthur. Hey, on. Well, that wasn't much of a bath, Arthur. The water was too shallow. Come on. Oh, that's better. Since we're at the stable, we'll get the horse serviced before we head down to Sadie. We have to meet her at Doyle's Tavern, that's right. Uh, so I think we're going to figure out how to rescue John. What, you swear now? Oh. I thought he was going to say my horse is too skinny when I heard the oh Christ. Quite prestigious yeah. for a little blacksmith like that to have an Arabian horse in his stable. Good old Van Horn. <laughs> it was that white tail buck running through Van Horn. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hey Josie. Hey, hey, take that outside. Take what outside? I'm not doing anything. Whoa! Never even spoke to the guy, and he just comes in and starts punching me from behind. Can I have some food now, please, Josie? Thank you. No more greed from you, all right? He started it, Josie. I just walked into the bar. Hello there. He was scrapping with somebody outside and thought he'd come in and start a meet. I do not think so. Bye. Had a good feed. Now let's enjoy the rest. Oh, no, no, we're not going to bother with the legendary there just now. Let's go see Sadie. I mean, we've, we've got another two whole playthroughs to get through. We've done over 90% in the Bad Honor playthrough, so let's just batter on with some story missions.
Oh, I can feel a sneeze building up, guys. You know, when you get that tickling in your nose and you know one's coming. Hey, fellas. Meet Miss Sadie in Doyle's Tavern. It's basically taken us a day and a night to get down here as well. Mind you, night time's probably the best time to meet Sadie in the middle of the city. No, sorry, mister. Oh, he's dead. His poor horse. Right, we'll just leave him. We don't want to yep. risk our honour by looting any more people. The horse has had a good feed. Let's... Basically a dewormer, isn't it? That's what I like to call these. And an anti-tick vaccine. <laughs> I know, they're health cures, but... When your horse is all kitted up with full yellow like this, it goes for days. If you don't go too hard, it'll last for days. Algernon Wasp, we met him after Bronte's party. Well, we met him at the party, saved him from choking on peanuts. Then we went to visit him at his shop. He's a milliner, makes fancy hats out of fancy feathers and eggs and goodness knows all what. Uh, yes, I said he's at Doyle's Tavern. Okay. Why have we slowed down, Arthur? Oh, God, yeah. <coughs> a chance to get a drink of juice <coughs> and I cough myself in sympathy. <coughs> We're almost at the tavern as well. At least there's one kind Mister, person to help okay? us. Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, Mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. The blood. Oh. I'm fine. Nearly there, just around this corner. You head in there, friend. Go on. About a year and a half ago. My uncle that I look after was taken into hospital with a mysterious disease that they actually thought was TB at one point. Can I help you? They were oh, pumping him full of antibiotics. He's, he's fine. He's fine. Oh, uh, just one he second, has got sorry. some deterioration in his body, but he's Mint fine now. otherwise. Okay, <laughs> Doc. So it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. I was joking. Arthur just Fred, sounds so nothing, but so pitiful. I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do. Uh, sure. 
Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. And say ah. And you know when the doctor goes to wash his hands, it's it? not good news. It's not good news. Well, I uh. guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Yeah. Oh, you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. You'll be. Now, the best thing is rest. Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Probably giving us a shot of cocaine. Poor Arthur. Doesn't matter how many playthroughs you play, it never gets easier. Try to remember where Doyle's Tavern is, I think it's... Yeah, we'll just head this way. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. You have it in you, I can tell. Brother Dorkins. Mrs. Dines. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. Mary. I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you often. the white tail buck our spirit animal <sighs> so sad yeah I was on the right track for Doyle's Tavern okay right so we've just found out Arthur's got TB not good Problems coming Spittoon. in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um, Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? He seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. Slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I think I losing Hosea is what put Dutch over John. the edge. Yeah, he was on a slow you know decline. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Yeah. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well the morgue and buried them together. Buried them with the... Yeah. 
was there oh, and Lenny both wanted to be buried with friends and they've been buried together, Sadie says, so they got their wish at the end of the day. A horrible way to get their wish, but they got it. I suppose that's the old adage, be careful what you wish for, isn't it? So, what's A your lesson plan? to be learned. Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. But it's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Oh, wait a minute. That's clean. Yeah, they're all clean. Good, now, good. The pilot, or... Let me just get my... There's Midnight's pistol. That's the Mauser. So there's Midnight's. There we Whatever go. You call him. He thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey. We didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Well, say they stop here well, or will she right, carry I'm on? Yeah. Uh, as I said in yesterday's boat. episode, what? leaving the letters they wasn't such a good idea because when the Pinkertons turned up at the bell, um, when Arthur was there, he just read the letter that Sadie left them. And we heard the Pinkerton saying that they'd been there every day since the robbery, so they knew the letter was there. Milton will have known the letter was there and left it there on purpose. The letter stated they were in Le Quay. It's not hard to put two and two together. Bill lasted all Mr. around Bullard? until every, until somebody seen him. Mr. Bullard. Um, it's good to see you. Javier had the letter at the ah, post this office. My I told you about, Mr. Ah, that would have been under Tacitus Kilgour, the mayor. Mayor Lemieux knew they used the nice Tacitus Kilgour alias. Like today, and anyway, shh, let's the enjoy the story. <laughs> you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Okay. Well, ain't she coming? All right, we're not putting oh, them on. Women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can. Oh no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why a delicate <laughs> flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs. Let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, <laughs> pull on that rope and hope for the best. Okay, ah! here we go. You boys have fun. Yeah, I've got one of my Lancasters, this? and it looks like I've got my rolling block as well. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation. <laughs> oh, no, come on, doing the solids over the side would be hilarious for people below. Once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. <laughs> Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. We're trying. We're trying. 
There's a yellow marker on where we have to obviously keep to that height, I think. My yes. God. Yes. Heavenly indeed. That's how I felt the first time in an aeroplane above the clouds. And it was the the big fluffy clouds that made it look like a a rolling carpet in front of you. It was it was beautiful. Terrified of heights, terrified of thought going in the aeroplane and when I seen the sight above the clouds, it was amazing. Sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. No doubt. She did, did she? <laughs> I mean, it just shows you how ignorant men were of females in those days. I, I don't mean as in not able to understand them, but he said that women couldn't fly because it would affect their vapours. My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off light. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. <laughs> I think I'm all right. Let's head towards the Sika. the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, <laughs> Mr. Bullard. I always say varieties the spice of life, especially when it comes to food. That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? You need to keep an eye on the marker, the ascend marker, because it does get lower and lower. What on earth are you doing? The gods are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Okay, now we've lost the wind. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Here, take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Should we uh think about heading back? That ain't John. Him? That looks like him. Yep, that's him. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascend! Ascend! Oh my Lord! Didn't I tell you this would happen? Oh. oh. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Phew. I don't think Arthur got uh, hit there, the but I felt the basket now, getting hit for sure. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. 
<sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Annisberg. Sure. Good lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? We're... Being chased. Yes. <laughs> near. It took us a day and a night to Would get back from Ansberg and there's so. Sadie up there getting chased by... I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Oh, it toggles scope. Right, hey, okay. Oh, shit. I think I'll just hit them anywhere I can. Ah, if I can hit them at all. Ah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, I was, thought I was reloading there. Right, Sadie. Oh, still people alive. Dag, damn it. Oh, no. Sorry, Sadie. Hang on. I'll be there in a second. Shit. Ah. Oh, he's dead. How is he dead? Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Where are they? There's one. Oh. Damn tree. Take out his horse instead. There was another one. There he is. Take out the horses, then they won't get her, will they? Right, we need more. Oh, there's more. Oh, trust those. Oh, got him. Yeah, he's dead, yeah. Shit, there's more of them. Oh, he tucked. I got him. Oh, he's dead. He, he ran into a tree. That's Arthur's move. Is that them all? Oh no. Ah. Ah, God. Sorry, guys. I think he's dead. Where's the other one? Oh, he's aiming at us. No. Oh, where is he? I can never ever see the guy that does that shooting, so it must be an invisible sniper. Over the bridge. Right. Hold that high. I'm coming. All right, hold it there, Arthur. Got it. Man, let's get it up. How do I get it up? I'm doing it, I'm doing it. We have a real habit of seeing the obvious 
Well, at least they had a soft enough landing. Did you break your neck? I don't think so. Uh, maybe. <coughs> Damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. They say no over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls. You can't leave it for one day? Just kill these oh, don't want the scope on. I hope I wasn't using my... I'm gonna have to... Eat... in that time. Ah! Oh shit, stone was in the way. I love Dead Eye, man. See, now that I know about it, it's the best tool ever created in a game. Yeah, it makes the game a bit easier, but it highlights just how fast Arthur and John really are at the go gunslinging. Is raging. <laughs> I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Colm, the government. They got Colm O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. That's true. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation's really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes. Fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No, but from the fields, yes, that we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk. A little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you <laughs> say, boss. I heard that. Well, let's loot some of these guys. Make sure the horse is close by in case we get a wanted level. Ooh, getting 
some good loot. Silver pocket watches, buckles, all money that we can use at the fence or leave in the bag for later. If you're just joining the stream, we've just spotted John at Sissica Prison and Sadie and Arthur are planning to go rescue him. So I have to meet Sadie at Copperhead Landing shortly to do just that. We kind of killed a few people. A Driscoll's on the way. We've found out that Como Driscoll has been caught and he's going to be hanged in San Denis. So Sadie wants to go there to make sure it happens. So we've definitely got a few missions with Sadie coming up. Oh, there she's flashing on the screen now. Okay, that'll probably be... Let me just have a quick look at the map and see where she is. Yeah, she's at Copperhead Landing, so we're going to go rescue John next. We've got Edith Downs. We need to go and see her as well. Strauss. We've got a letter. We've got a stranger's mission. Oh, I think I'll do that one next. But we'll get these guys... We'll get these guys looted before the law comes. They're everywhere. All these dead O'Driscolls. And we don't have to worry about the honour because they were going to kill us anyway. So let's just loot all we can. What, is there a snake or something? Is that why you're fussing? On this way then. There's a couple of bodies still at the river. Where is he? There he is. Last one, where is he? Right, let's head up to Willard's Rest. See what the stranger mission is. And then we'll definitely be going to help Sadie rescue John once we've cleared up some of the white markers on the board. You can get up there, I know you can. Jump on the rock. No? Okay. Horse doesn't want to go that way. There we go. Changed your mind, didn't you? Right. Uh, ha ha. Playing the game the way I'm doing it this time is leaving... Still leaving a lot for John to do later. I mean, there's still treasure maps to find. Um, there will be side missions to still complete as John. Yeah, there's there's going to be a lot left for John to do, but again, this playthrough we're concentrating more just on side missions and story missions. Because we did so much collecting in the low honour playthrough. Hey, mister. Oh, somebody needs help. Don't even know who the bad guys are here. Oh, I think I just killed the person I was trying to help. Yeah, I did. I killed her, I think. Oh, well. I'm sorry, missus. I won't loot you, though. That was unfortunate. 
I went in, I went in like a wrecking ball, literally. Okay. Right, put the guns away, Arthur. We tried to help, but unfortunately, it didn't work out. What the, what was that? No, it's fine. Right, so we're heading to Willard Dressed. And then we'll see Edith Downs when we come back through Ansberg. I'm just going to follow the railway all the way up to Willard Rest, I think. Try and avoid as many cougars as we can and bears and things. Hey, mister. Yeah, there's Edith Downs there, so we'll, we'll see her on the way back. And we'll just stick to the tracks all the way up to Willard's Rest just to save some time. Horse loves a good gallop. <laughs> Not too far now. We should see the road that we've to take on. I just heard the wolves or coyotes there. I'm so glad we're on the tracks and running. <laughs> We've killed enough innocent people by mistake. Our honour levels dropped slightly. But we've got plenty of opportunities to take that back up with the side missions. Right, here we go. We come off the road. Yeah. Off the tracks here onto the road. Okay, ma'am, I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. 
Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. So we're going to teach this poor widow how to hunt. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're going to survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? I'm going to have to... Do you know what? I'll uh, get my fireman rifle off the horse. Hopefully she'll river. follow me anyway. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, that's the bolt action. We don't want that either. Try again. There we go. Fireman rifle. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. I understand. So we're looking for. Oh, there's a trail over there. Yes. That's a good spot. What are we looking Search for? Search area for well. animals. There is a trail over there. I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. You don't oh, need well, one. You don't need one. We definitely don't need one for rabbits in real life either. Take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. There's one. There. Look. Oh. oh. Got it. Oh. Good shot. Okay then. Go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I? I mean. What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. Oh my! <laughs> it worked! It did. It wouldn't be quite as smooth as that in real life, but you can definitely skin a rabbit in real life. Do you mind if we head back now? Yeah, sure. Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. Damn it! Now I've not got my Springfield. Okay. Right, that's fine. We should be okay. Hey, Ruby. Welcome to the stream. At least. Thank you. I'll be streaming for about another hour and 40 minutes, stopping for an hour, and then I'm coming back on for another four hours, so you're more than welcome to join. You can survive here, all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than... Uh, chapter 6. Right. Um, yesterday's episode, we did the bank robbery oh, in Saint-Denis. No, and um, we were on the island of Guarma. We got shipwrecked trying to escape Saint-Denis on a boat and ended up on the island just east Two islands east of Cuba, I think it was described as. And we worked our way through that yesterday and came back to the mainland and immediately basically got attacked by Pinkertons. Um, quite a lot. Hang on, I'll show you right now. Uh, progress. I'm at 63% in the story. We're on chapter 6. We've done one mission in chapter 6 so far. Um, let me think. There is 107 or 109 story missions. And we are on 71. Yeah, yeah. Of course I will. Of course I will. 
um, that's complete playthroughs I'm doing, complete honour playthroughs. So the first playthrough was the complete low honour. I did low honour as Arthur and John, and I'll be doing high honour as both in this one. <clears throat> So let's carry on. Let's get this widow home. Has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. But truly. Once once you've completed it a couple of times, you know how many missions there are. But when you go to the total completion bit in progress, if you're doing the hundred percent or see the missions right at the top there, it's saying I've done seventy one. And I think there's either a hundred and seven or a hundred and nine missions in total. So you know there's still quite a way to go. And yes, after the game's finished, I'll be doing every credit again as well. Every credit will be up there because I don't care how many times I play this through. I always play the end credits off stream as well because I think every person that made this game deserved it. 104, there you go. Right, ma'am, you're home. Wait, sorry, I, I don't have the energy to go that fast. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me, since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am. So I've now met Charlotte Balfour, who was widowed when her husband was killed by a bear. And the poor man's buried here. Let's have a little drink for Cal. There, we'll have some Kentucky bourbon for Cal. Yes, yes. The end credits are everybody that's involved with the making of the game or a movie or anything like that. It's the end credits. Okay, and on this, there's so many people involved in the making, the acting, everything to do with this that the end credits go on for about 25 minutes. But it's a good time to be able to to sort of talk about how you feel about the game you know and the different honours that you're playing so with the low honour one that's already up in my playlists um, you can see what the credits look like on that at the end it, basically the credits are always the same but there's sort of like little snippets in between as well that you can see that um it's like little cutscenes in between the credits that are worth watching because it kind of shows you what the remaining gang members are doing and things like that. Oh, Cougar. Where are you? Come on. There you are. I've seen it coming towards me. Um, you always get the end credits at the end of any game. Maybe you skip past them and didn't... I know you, there is a skip option. 
and you've maybe skipped past them not realising. Always do anyway. Always do anyway, but always go to Arthur's grave. I go to all the graves as um, John. You can go to them as Arthur as well, and then you don't have to go to as many as John. You know, like I could go and see Sean's grave just now, Hosea and Lenny, because we've lost them as well at this point. Right, um... Okay, Edith Downs is in Ansburg, so let's go and see her next. Yeah. Say hello to a few people on the journey. Hey, um, they're all buried close to where they died. So, Sean's near Clemens Point. Hosea and Lenny are out near um, Saint Denis. Um, Miss Grimshaw, she's going to be up near Beaver Hollow. I'm not going to go through them all. There is a lot of spoilers, like I said. But if you if you go to the epilogue mis missions or the epilogue episodes of my Low Honor playthrough, John goes to them all in one episode. I can't remember if I put a comment on saying that's what it was, but yeah, I go to all the graves as John in the low honour. Jenny Kirk's buried up north of... Yes, I've done three in the game so far, but there is a few on the map. Hang on. I've actually... There's the... The legendary steelhead trout is up at Willard's Rest. Um, the, you do you do a legendary fish there with Hamish, but you don't take that carcass. Uh, let me see where I am. I'm trying to stick to the north first. Lake Isabella, you find a legendary there. We've got one in the Dakota River to collect. There's the legendary Blue Gill, just south of Clemens Point. You do that one with Kieran. Uh, the legendary Bullhead Catfish is here, over by Sissica. You have to steal a boat and make your way over there. You can do it as Arthur or John. I might do that one this session just to let you see it, actually. But there is a few. I could show you them all, but it does take a bit of time. The legendary muskie is up off past the, light ho the lighthouse in Van Horn. You find that round about here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you a couple of them. I've already done two this episode. I've done the legendary steelhead trout. And the legendary perch. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm happy to help if I can. As I know you've played the game, but I do know a lot of other people haven't played the game. But in the low honor titles, it does have spoilers. So, I mean, if you want to go and see all the spoilers and that, they're all in there. Right, you definitely benefit from watching episodes one and two of both playthroughs. Then, if you've if you've already done one playthrough, you would definitely benefit from checking episode one and two of my playthroughs because it does show a lot of spoilers that help Arthur out right at the start. Hey, what's the problem? No problem, man. Taking little shortcuts. Right, let's find Edith. I said, hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, 
There she is. They're long, but you can skip past chapter one where they're up at Coulter and go straight to chapter two. And it's at the start of chapter two that I do all the major spoilers. This is down. Next playthrough will be Low Honor Help John. I'm really sorry, but I... Well. Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard... I think that will just be mainly story missions after I do some collecting right at the start. This... It will just be story missions all the way through, and so will the final playthrough. And it ain't my fault any more than there's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just Hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. Guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Where you think. Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Holman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go. Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Yes. Yes, there's four different endings. You've got High Honor Help John. Low honor, help John. Okay. High honor, get the money. Low honor, get the money. And let us say this is my 14th playthrough I'm on here, so I have played all four endings at one time or another just to see what they're like, and they're all as heartbreaking as the next. All as dramatic as the next, some gruesomely so. Hey boy! <laughs> hey boy, your mouth's a whore, little boy. Be quiet, Mr. Dunn. Arthur, oh, what are you doing? Your mouth's a whore, and that's a goddamn fact. Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Go home. Why don't you shut up? Oh, oh. Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Uh-oh. Wrong move, mister. You were saying? I ducked that and he still managed to hit me. That's not right. I should just shoot him if I could get away with it. Now the look, him. I might be sick and weak, but it's still going to take two of them. Although he is a little bit oh easier than the foreman. I was going to say. <laughs> Choking, but it's not letting me. There, got him down anyway. Who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go. Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Yeah. Arthur's facing his mortality now, isn't he? So that helped get her honour back up a good bit. 
Right, let's get out of here before the laws get something to say. And we will go back to camp, see what the letter is, see what Strauss is. No, in fact, we're going to see Sadie since we're near Copperhead Landing. And then we'll head back to camp. Gosh, this place is a maze. <laughs> it was no, it's a bull elk this time. I was just looking to see if the cougar was here again since we're heading that way, but it's a bull elk. Two star. Going to Copperhead Land, and we'll just follow the railway all the way down again. This is the one. Kill them for what they done to us. Oh, geez, oh, how many are there? Right, where are they all? Right, you first. You next. Where are they? Where are you? Jesus. Oh, they're all hiding behind the trees. Still one alive down here. You're using the trees. I'll use them as well. There we go. Let's loot all these guys. They attacked us first, so we shouldn't lose honour for it. <coughs> oh, one down here. Jesus, where did he go? Oh, there he is. That was actually quite a big ambush. But then again, we did deserve it. I mean, we killed a butt ton of them at Beaver Hollow when we were stealing their camp. So I suppose they are going to be on, on a mission to get us back. Ignore the songs. <laughs> um... I'd say the most gut wrenching one is this one. The High Honor. The High Honor Help John is definitely the most gut wrenching of the lot. First time I played it, I basically, it was the first time I played. And I, I wasn't even sure of the, the honor rating at that point. I didn't know about Dead Eye until Epilogue Part 1. You know, because I, I missed the, the thing and didn't understand what it was for. I was a complete noob and um, right, I somehow managed to end up with this ending and it, it was so bad I went literally went into mourning for three weeks I couldn't face the epilogue for three weeks yeah. I had a horrible feeling in the pit of my stomach for days it, it, I think I pined more for Arthur than I've done for most of my family members that I've lost to be honest and it sounds like a horrible thing to say, but I think it's because we are Arthur. You know, we are making all the decisions for him. And I think that's why it hits us so hard, because in a way we are Arthur. And I feel like we're feeling sorry for ourselves. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, 
sense of direction. Uh, it ain't good. Uh. Hey, where's the train station? Going around in circles here. Head on that way. You'll find it. You are a gentleman, sir. You're welcome. Right, since we're here, I'll show you the legendary musky. It is quite an awkward one to get. I'll leave the horse here. But the legendary musky, you have to be careful on these rocks, so... You slide down into the water, so you've got to be careful. That's I was showing you that on purpose. But if you stick to sort of like this bit, well, I wasn't low enough. Hang on. Yeah, if you stick sort of lower to the rocks, like here when you're heading back, and just you still lose the fish, but you can pick it up. You know, you'll be able to pick the fish up from there if you fall. But you have to be basically right out here to get the legendary musky, so I've just been using the special late right. We're on the Lanahassee River, so I'll change it to the river lure. But you need the special lures after you meet Jeremy Gill, you can buy them from the bait shop at Legra. Depending on your le honor level they'll be I think it's about seventeen dollars up to twenty dollars each. But you only need to buy one of them each, so you do get a legendary lake uh, a special oh, lake lure cool. free at one point. Um if you've already met Jeremy Gill in chat at the start of chapter three and got the the lures you can catch the legendary with Kira, and I think I done it in this ep in this playthrough. Or if you miss it with Kira, you can always go back and get it at a later time. It's still on the map. Here we go. Come on. There's a big musky at my feet there. This is how my buttons get ruined, so it's a legendary fish. I always, always overdo it on the buttons. And not all of them are huge fish either. Just to make you aware in case you think you've not caught it. So while it fights, I just hold L2 and R2. I'll show you just now. I just hold them so it can only take out a little bit more of the, the reel. Yep. Yes, yeah. there is a legendary bluegill. It's about twice the size or three times the size of a normal one. That's the legendary musky. It's got slightly different markings than the other ones. I'm keeping you, I'm afraid. You could probably take a boat out to catch it as well. Right, this is a pain in the butt getting back here though, so I'm gonna do it as quickly as I can. Run run run! Run 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 so you don't drop the fish. Right, okay. There we go. I got over with the fish without falling in. And then because we're in Ansberg, we're not... No, if you're catching a legendary, you need a special lure. Like I said, I just used the special on, river lure to catch that. You meet a man called Jeremy Gill at the start of Chapter 3. I think you have to do at least one mission before you meet him. And you meet him down at Flatiron Lake. See there? 
Gill's Landing, just west of Rhodes. And then once you've spoken to him, you go up to the bait shop at Le Gras. So, find Le Gras on the map, which is in the marshes. And see, there's a bait shop there, a little hook. You buy the lake lures there, special lake lure. And as I said, depending on your honour level will affect the price. So if you're low honour, they'll cost you $20. If you're high honour at that point, they'll cost you about $17.50, $18 each. You get the special river lure, special lake and special swamp. Right, I'm going to go post this fish before it goes off and then we'll go see Sadie. So there you go, Ruby. That's how you catch a legendary fish. Sorry, mister. I forgot this horse's brakes isn't that great. What are you doing? Hey, mister. How goes, partner? He's given you the legendary fish map, which means you can go to the bait shop now and buy the special lures. Welcome, welcome. Okay, what you need to send? And then you go to the post office with the fish and just post it to him like that. I've caught four out of thirteen. How's that? Death, or in my case. Hey, Bubba, welcome back. Well, how's that for a welcome? I'm sorry. How can I help you? I've already done it. I've no bounties to pay. I'm all good. Right, let's go and get Sadie and we'll go rescue John. You done good, girl. Yeah, the bait shop's in Ligra. Once you've spoken to Jeremy Gill, it should show on your index on the map. So when you've got your index up, scroll down and bait shops there, it shows you in Ligra. If you've just joined the stream, guys, we're going to rescue Mr. Marskin from Sissica Prison with Sadie. So we're going to meet Sadie down at Copperhead Landing. We had to go and scope the island to see where he was. That was a good mission. We were in a hot air balloon. So that was fun. Our honours creeped back up a little bit doing the side mission helping Charlotte. I lost a little bit of honour because I accidentally killed somebody I wasn't meant to. Yeah. Alright, so I'm only going to take the Lancaster with me. I'm going to give it a clean before I go. Well, just head to Le Gras anyway. Um, I'll show you the cabin on the map. If you've got the map, it should show you it. Unless, have you done the fishing mission with Kieran? Let's play through. Yeah, it'll probably be the Kieran mission then. Hang on, what other guns it giving me? I don't want to take the bolt action. Let me put that back. Alright. Right, we'll just head to Le Gras. Let's say the bait shop. There you go. It sits there just on the... See where the, the pier is at Le Gras? Just there. I 
I can handle myself. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why ain't the crime sort? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Times, <laughs> Marston. If you're enjoying the stream, guys, please consider leaving a thumbs up or hitting the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. That's what I wanted to wanted to get off my horse in the first place was a rolling block. Right. Let's have a look for John. Alright. Where's John? That looks like him. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Ah uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. I'm not going to take the rolling block with me. I want Wait, my gun shit. back. It's the repeater. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. Come on. I should be able to. Still you should be able to use it any time, technically, because it is there. John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. <laughs> now. Where's John Marsden? She ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything. It's not easy to try to lead this guy up here. Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Put the gun down, mister. Come on, partner. <laughs> Sadie's taking care of them for me. Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. All the prisoners so, making a break where for do we it. Go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, 
He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Just make sure you've got plenty of chewing tobacco with you guys so you can keep up up filling your dead eye core. This guy's trying to lead me into battles. Move it. Move it. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this poop. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Stay down! <laughs> Sadie's definitely a no-fuck-shit kind of girl, you know? Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn gun! Come on. Jameson in! He's inside, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. No. Uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, something? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you <laughs> bastards. Come on! <laughs> don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin hands. Mr. Mannequin. Once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. <laughs> all right, let's get the. The Lancaster, I think. Ah, oh, he's gonna survive that. Hang on. Get that one as well. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got trigger happy there, guys. Sorry. There, got him as a stood back up. Right, that one. Few them up here. Yeah, he finally died. Right. Right, let's get the ones coming out the gate. They're halfway across the bridge, so I'm going to make a break for it. It'll give me a chance to eat a chewing tobacco. We got you covered, Arthur. Come on! Right. Remember your chewing tobacco, guys. That doesn't count as health, you see. Where are they? On Arthur, where are they? Okay, fellas, time to go. Okay, 
another chewing tobacco in you for ready with your dead eye to go. Look out on the left. Coming for the ball. Right. Got to try and take out horses as well as people here, I think. I don't think there was anybody on that one. first horse. I'll probably get bad honour for that one. The Lancaster's a great gun for this. Come on, John. Go, go, go. Take another tune tobacco. Ah, oh, take him first. Oh, it's the bloody log in the way. Shit. Right, I'm gonna have to be fast here, guys. Oh, the log's still in the way. Jeez, oh. Oh no, I got him. Very quickly, by boat. Right, he's dead. Right, run guys, run. I've got you covered. Ah, oh, shit. Follow me. Right, now just make sure you've got another tune tobacco in you and just run like the clappers straight to the boat. Because they're coming hard and fast. On John, keep going. Don't get yourself killed. Ah, I'm gonna die. Hang on, I'm gonna have to take a moonshine. Oh, that was close. You always seem to need rescuing. Yeah, all the gunslingers are done, Ruby. I've done them way back, chapter two. Possibly three as well. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me, you you're a better shot. Right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Thanks for the hospitality, boy. I wasn't caring about headshots there, I just wanted us out safe. Dressed up like a prize chicken, no doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Uh, hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Let's head Daddy back to cinematic dead. mode so we can she listen to them. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, uh, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost oh, somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. That's it's all in the last episode, story, guys, if you want to see the Guarma adventure. Things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. 
And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. Well, Dutch was already Dutch is already thinking John's a rat this. and in that's bank, because of Michael whispering in his ear, isn't it? Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Yes, not. Okay, get a quick drink of ice, icy cold juice before we carry on. We're back at camp. We'll have a look at the letter and see what Strauss is after. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so yes and when spring and john brings the law down on all of us what then arthur well i guess we'll have another fight on our hands loyalty arthur it ain't i had a goddamn plan john john you are my brother you are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. <coughs> God, that would have been a great plot twist if Dutch had turned out to be John's real dad. Uh, we've still got the stag as our spirit animal, so high on her, still. Arthur! Arthur! Oh, sorry. I was miles away. Thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. All right, let's check what the letter is out. The letter is at the tent, first of all. Arthur. Yes, Abigail. Thank you. Thank you so much. We ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. <laughs> has I'm Jack happy. just given us a kick on the way past? I have you as a friend. You do indeed. Right. Where did that little shit go? He just kicked me on the way past. There was a letter that said letter on the thing. Where is it gone? Our letters disappeared, guys. Okay, let's see what Strauss is after. Yeah, well, in the caves in Guarma, Dutch mentions that he thinks, basically doesn't say the exact words, but believes that John's a rat as well, and was surprised that Abigail had managed to slip away in the robbery, you know, so it's his paranoia levels at an extreme right now. You were nothing but a street rat when he found you. He believed in you when no other son of a bitch would. Huh? And him? You ain't been nothing but a bad apple from 
from the start. You ain't even been with us a full year, and you think you know better. I'm with Charles and Listen to your words of wisdom. John here. As soon as I'm shown some evidence, there's a brain inside your head. Yeah. No doubt you will as well. Bill. Just leave it. You alright? What's wrong? Like you don't know. We're all in this together. Okay. Oh, let's see what John and Charles are saying to that. John? Hi there, Arthur. Really feels like it's splitting into two sides here. I know. Well, just keep your ear to the ground. Take care. Hi, right, Charles. Arthur, thanks for sticking with us. Of course. Well, hang in there. All right, Arthur. Okay, so the camp's pretty dour, for want of a better word. Swanson's hey, got his act you? together, according to Hello. Sadie. How are you holding up? I feel I should be asking you that. Of course he would. Yeah, of course he would. Because Mike has done his Grima worm tongue that well. He's got right inside his head, you know. Right, let's see Strauss. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Karen. <sighs> look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big talk. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was already turning to the drink because Sean wouldn't see her as a woman, just as a sex object. And then when they died, she hit the bottle really hard. And she's not been the same since. Okay, Strauss, you old rat, what are you doing? Mr. Morgan. Hey, Strauss. How are you? About, about how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um, and perhaps available for some work. Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Huh? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... The debtors, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate. You know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? Alright, uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Okay, let's go collect some debtor money. Who was shouting there? Hmm, that was weird. Somebody shouted, but I couldn't see who it was. There's old Pearson, what's he saying to it? Mr. Pearson. Mr. Morgan! How you doing with all this? Fantastic! We'll be alright. 
Whatever you say. What is Miss Grimshaw looking at us like that for? Times, Mr. Morgan. Oh, <laughs> everybody's in the habit of pushing us just now. Shooting, you know. What do you mean? I know it's you who keeps killing innocent people. Ain't Not at all. innocent in this world, Miss Grimshaw. You know that. Use your brain, Mr. Morgan. We don't have time for you to keep acting crazy. <laughs> My honor's good. I've not killed that many innocents. Let's go, girl. All right, so let's see where these debtors are. One's up by three sisters. Okay, so... That was J. John Weathers. Let's head up that way and then we can take a ride round the craze run once we've seen them. Yeah. The old mad preacher was down here. I went past him the last time. I'll probably uh -huh. talk to him again this time if you see him. I'm sure he was down there before, but I'm not hearing him now. Oh, he is there. <laughs> in real life, um, probably a bit of medium well done steak. Yeah, I'm one of the ones that likes my steak cremated. Or stewed. I like it in a stew as well. And he gave me the whole world. But no signal I can understand. All these, all these people and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world. Wasn't that enough? No. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm so... I'm so greedy. I'm... I don't know if this man was meant to have had another mission in this but from what I can make out or what I think what I believe is happening is that man has been in that river talking to the player all those years wanting to be a bigger part of the game so basically we think he's speaking to God but he's actually speaking to us that's how I think it is happening anyway he wants to be a part more more in more into the game than he is. That's the way I look at it anyway. Other people might see it different. Right, so we're going to find J. John Weathers up at Three Sisters. If you're enjoying the stream, guys, please think about hitting the thumbs up. Maybe hitting subscribe. I'll be stopping in about 40 minutes for a quick break, um, half an hour to grab something to eat. And then I'll be back on for about another four hours if you're wanting to come along and watch. I'm not working today, so I decided to make it an eight hour marathon with a half hour break in the middle. Um, no, probably about another three or four, four hour streams maybe. I mean, there's still a few side missions I want to catch up with. But it is mainly just going to be side missions and story missions now. There's not going to be any major adventuring. 
I did all that in the Low Honor playthrough, which is up my playlist if you want to watch it. Oh, dear. Oh, let's see, there's another side mission down there. Don't know what that is. Oh, I know what that is, because we're at a craze run, aren't we? Yeah. We'll go to that one once we've done J. John Weathers. We'll collect his money, then nip down to craze. Oh, watch out for the trees. Oh, there's the wagon right there. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose. Thanks, now. Ruby. Whatever Appreciate they call it. You. you borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here. It's him. It's too late. Form up. Shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you. Where are you? I can't believe he got back up. Maybe both my guns are neat and cleaned. Got you that time. He's still alive. I'll get to him in a minute. Oh, son of a bitch has gone behind the tree. Oh, you son of a gun. Still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. No, we're absolving it. You Damn keep that. Dad, just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing. Well, that's took the honour right up there. Okay, so absolving the debt's always good. Hey there, right, let's girl. head down to O'Cray's Run. Yeah. Right, there's that side mission there, so let's... I think this was the one that you were interested in doing at one point, Ruby. horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. 
Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. <laughs> huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Right, so where he is on the map, Ruby, is there. And that's his house over there. So you'll be able to find him this time, but you have to wait to chapter 6 before you can meet him, unfortunately. It would be great to meet him as one of the earlier ones, to be honest. I would have really liked that. There's the horse, there's Buell. There he is. Easy there. <laughs> Shit, spooked all right. Easy there. Take it easy there. Easy there. Whoa. Easy. Now come on then, let's get you back. Feels beautiful, isn't he? I love a Carmelo colored horse. Carmelo is just another form of albinism in animals. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You yeah, you could do these him. missions as Arthur or John. He's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. What I'll do is I'll do two missions as Arthur and I'll leave the third one and do that as John in the epilogue, you see. Yeah, so, yeah, you can meet Hamish from Chapter 6 onwards. You can meet Charlotte from Chapter Man, 6 on. onwards. I'm gonna spook you here. Come on, you're not so nasty. How's your horse back, Hamish? I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. Yeah. Hamish has Hamish always been class. my favourite side mission. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? I think so. Why so. give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Were him but a snake that spooked him. <laughs> You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah. How'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. Young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm going to put a bullet in you. <laughs> I'll see you again. And he wouldn't shoot his horse. He loves Buell. Alright, okay, so we've first met Hamish. Since we're still up this neck of the woods, let's see what else is back on.
Uh, we'll be Edith Downs again in Ansberg. There's that letter appeared again at camp, you see. Let's get Arthur Londonderry's bounty. We'll get that done. Hamish's horse is a Dutch warm blood. Buell's a Dutch warm blood. Gonna go see Arthur Londonderry, get his debt, and then we'll head back to camp. Um, it's a reliable horse. There's Hamish. There we've caught up with him on the way home. I wonder if we can talk to him again. Hey, Hamish. Oh, we can't talk to him either. Let's see what he does when he goes home. Oh no, he's going to cut right here, isn't he? Yeah, let's just follow Hamish home, just because we can. I don't even think he's heading to a craze run, to be honest. He's, he's going somewhere else. Oh, there's wolves coming to disturb us. Let's see what happens with the wolves in Buell. <laughs> Don't make me stomp on you, wolf. There we go. You want me to run? Oh, there's the horse decided to buck me off now. I'm gonna kick a wolf to death. Where are you? Kick it, Arthur. Kick it. Kick it. There, it died. I kicked it to death. <laughs> okay. Now I've lost Hamish, I wanted to see where he was going. No. Yep. Right, let's let's carry on Arthur London Derry then. Do you know I still haven't marked the trail trees in my my book, my journal. Supposed to drink that, Arthur. <laughs> fox. Let's see if we can. Ah! You try to jump the fox there, where you lie. Let's go. Wolfman, Wolfman. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, tag damn it. More bloody wolves. Where did that Wolfman go? not here, his camp's not set up, is it? Oh, it is. Right, I want to see if I can... F Hang on. He's in here, I think. And there's my horse in here as well. Where are you? Where are you, mister? Sure, I heard them in here. I'm going to 
take his bottles and that anyway. I swore I heard him in here though, but I don't know where he is. Oh, it was candy or something there. Where was it? A carrot. Okay. Not seen any scent trails either, so he might not be in here. Sure, you can find his journal in here. It's just a an old hermit that's friendly with wolves. He runs about naked. We'll find him eventually. I, I can't even get on my horse in the cave because it's too low a roof. Having a look about just in case he is hiding somewhere. No. Okay, so he's not here. Right, now we can carry on Arthur Londonderry. Okay. Okay then, girl. Can, you can find the Wolfman's journal at some point, but I think you have to fight him first. I think that's our first meeting with him in this game, so... Although we didn't actually see him this time because of the wolf. I'm on my way to Ar Arthur London Derry, which is uh, the bounty, uh, the debt for Strauss. Oh, he's down in the mines, okay. All right, there. You got any business at the mine? I'm looking for an Arthur London Derry. I was told he works here. London Derry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's okay. down in the pit. You feel so bad for zero reasons. <laughs> There's so many reasons to feel bad in this game. The debt collecting's the one of the worst, though. Aren't especially, especially Thomas yeah. Downs. I'm sorry, fella, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> You might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Yes, yeah, so that's what me cat and look, Arthur realizes that that is the truth. Right, so what way did we come down this way? Climb, Arthur. Uh, yeah, we came this way, okay. Hey, move! On your way now. Try 
and get back up to my horse the hard way. Right, so now we need to go and see his widow and my horse needs a feed badly. So let's see where his widow is on the map. Alright, she's close to Obadiah Hinton's place. So we'll see Mrs. Londonderry and that's where I'll end the stream to go and get something to eat. And then I'll be back half an hour after that. So I think I'm, I'm just going to have a quick dinner tonight. I think just some sandwiches and a cup of tea will do me. Ooh, cheese and pickle sandwiches. Cheese and Branston pickle. Get in. That's what I'm having for dinner. Oops. Sorry. I think it was a rabbit or a bird I just ran over. Uh oh. Ambush. What are they doing here? Why you is there? there? What's your business here? What you are a man. All right, okay. If you're gonna shoot at me, then guarantee I'm gonna defend myself. Who are these guys? Are the pink curtains? I don't ever remember meeting these guys here before. Oh, it's a prison wag. Oh, Zagnamit, have I just lost a whole lot of honour here then? Maybe if I don't loot them, I'll be good. Were they waiting on a prisoner coming in? I've never seen this before, guys. What's going on here? Who are they? Oh, it's a Pinkerton. Oh, do you know what? We hate the Pinkertons. Let's see if we lose any honour. Oh, shit, there's more coming. Don't kill my horse. that you son of a gun oh Branston pickles immense offset the place on fire right I've lost a little bit of honor so I'm not gonna look in do you know what it's too good to resist some of them might have gold nuggets on them chewing tobacco If it had been lawmen, I wouldn't have looted, but it's Pinkerton, so do you know what? But this is the first time I've ever seen this This here, guys. A first for me. But there's more law coming the way we are supposed to be heading, so. So let's get out of here quickly. Before we get in any more trouble. There he is. Take it out. Oh. You won't dance, some bitch. Come on. Ah. Avoid the trees. Yeah. Ah. It's fine, I'll lose you on the railway, guys, don't you worry. I'm going to head up this way to Mrs. Londonderry, if I can avoid the trees. Yeah. Oh, don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> right, she won't appear on the map until the wanted level's away, so... 
going to hide over here a little bit. While we're in the Butcher's Creek way, you do get... Let me just go and see that. I know some of you were asking in earlier streams what um, orchids you get up near Butcher's Creek. So I'll quickly find one just to let you see what they are. They grow on the ground, these ones, as opposed to the trees. So you're looking for a single plant just sitting on its own. I know where you can definitely find them, but it's easier to try and show you in the wild rather than where you know they are. Right, in fact, I'll just show you where the definite ones are because you can go back and collect them anytime, really. Right, so I'm going to come down here. There's loads of plants there. Let's see if there's any in amongst that. That's creeping time. That's all creeping time. And evergreen huckleberries. Right, never mind the ones in the wild. I will show you where... You will find them if you look long enough. If you come down into Butcher's Creek itself, you can find two on a regular basis that you don't need to search too much for. There's one of them there right behind that fence, so I'll show you just now. Right, here's one here. That's a yellow orchid. And those are the the moccasin flower orchid so if you're at that stage in Algernon wasp you'll definitely get one there and if you come down to I think it's the beach on the other side let me just quickly check yes yeah, so if you go to the beach just on the other side here you'll find a second one now I think you have to collect 10 of these for Algernon wasp so throughout the game in each chapter of the game, you could just come and pick those two. Every two or three days, you can just collect those two. They'll keep regrowing. It saves you having to hunt too far. And then you'll soon have the ten before you even meet Mr. Wasp in chapter four. Right, let's carry on. Right now, Mrs. London Derry. You gonna pack all your stuff, Angel? <coughs> uh, Mrs. London Derry. <coughs> Off his dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. Well, the law's close by because my controller's flashing red and blue. It's just. We lent Arthur some money, you see, and. So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No. No. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. Absolve the debt and give money, or just absolve the debt. So we're going to absolve the debt and give her money. I just wanted to say <coughs> the debt cancelled. Maybe it'll be enough to save take, the house for her. We don't know how much you've given her. Bring your husband back. I know. You need money, and I don't. Oh, well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. How much did we give her? But you know, 
Maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things different. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Try. I really am. Yep, there's the honour. Jump back up again. Okay. Right, guys. I'm going to end the stream here. Quickly go and get a bite to eat. And I'll be back in about half an hour's time, okay? So, just keep a watch open oh, for the notification if you're subscribed. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.